everyone welcome back to another vlog i hope you guys are all doing well i am just getting in my car and heading off to the gym and it's kind of late actually which is why i kind of wanted to talk to you so i'm gonna get to the gym about 12 and do probably like a 40 minute session but i just wanted to talk to you guys for a quick sec just a little debrief because i've been editing my um last vlog that you guys would have seen on monday and basically I just feel like it's all over the place like it's not really me being able to talk to you guys and just chill so that's probably what this vlog is going to be more of just sort of me telling you guys what's happening updating you guys that kind of stuff so basically I am going to turn on the car because it's quite hot recently I have been hitting a bit of a wall with like gym motivation I've just sort of been lacking like you know that drive to like get up super early and hit the gym partially because I've been sick and partially because I've been stressed and I know that you know sometimes there are no excuses but I feel like I just have to listen to my body sometimes and not go so crazy so I thought I'd update you guys with that because it's like 12 o'clock now and I haven't gone to the gym yet which is so rare for me normally I'm like excited to go to the gym too and I don't know like I'm keen to work out but at the same time like I'd rather not but I'm doing it because I know I should but yeah that's just pretty much where I'm at at the moment sorry I'm gonna put you guys there for a sec while I put my seatbelt on yesterday I went to the beach with Liv and Amber and I had such a good time like Oh my goodness. I am just so grateful. And if you guys watched that last vlog, I'm seriously so blessed. Ah, oh, I just, my heart is so full watching that vlog. I hope you guys did enjoy it. But anyway, I'm going to the gym. I'm going to do an upper body arm session. Then I'm coming home, doing some uni work. Might lay out in the sun for a little bit. I've got to make some food as well. Um, I'm not sure if I'm seeing Kira and Rachel tonight or what. But yeah, that's pretty much the lowdown. The gym's probably going to be really busy. So yeah, I might not be able to show you my workout today but that's where we are fellas you're all caught up now let's go <laughs> I just remembered what I was gonna talk to you guys about in like one of my last vlogs and I completely forgot so here's me talking to you guys about it now but basically what I've started doing you guys would probably know I've spoken about in quite a few of my vlogs about things like horoscope spirituality and yeah just things about like the universe stars all of that sort of thing I'm really interested in it and I completely understand understand that not everyone is. I respect, you know, everyone's decision, but it's just something that I'm really interested in. Um, I find quite fascinating. Kira does like angel card readings and I find that so, so fascinating as well. And like, yeah, just anything to do with like the universe, I'm really intrigued with. And I've always checked my horoscope for like quite a long time, but recently I have started watching um, Kelly Rosano, I think that's how you pronounce her name, but you guys would probably know about her if you're into this sort of stuff as well. I'll try and remember to link um, her channel in the description, but basically she's just like a horoscope lady and every single month before the month starts, she'll do like a video, a full like 20 minute, 30 minute video all about your star sign and let you know what's coming up for the month ahead. And I love that stuff and so every month mine just came out which is why I'm talking to you guys about it mine just came out for October um, and it's currently the 17th of September so it comes out a fair bit in advance but then I have this little like display folder that I put all of my notes in because while I watch her video I take notes on what she's saying and I also just write down like key information so here is mine for October um, these are just the notes that I have made and I also write down like the dates to look out for which are really interesting and she also talks about like what's happening with the planets Venus is taking its turn to retrograde um, which happens every 18 months like all of that stuff I find quite fascinating so I write it down and I pop it in this display folder I haven't done this for a long time so I don't have many in here but yeah I'm really interested in this sort of thing so I just thought I would let you guys know if you have any questions about like yeah spiritual or horoscopes or anything like that or if you'd like to see my like horoscope 
spirituality routine or just sort of how I got into it and what I sort of do with it then let me know because I absolutely am obsessed with it and I love learning new things about it. That's pretty much what's happening. I'm just having a relaxing afternoon. Now I've gotten all my uni work done. I'm about to go outside and water my plants. So I'll bring you guys with me because I haven't even spoken about my plants yet. <laughs> I'm literally crying. I think I have hay fever. I'm not about it. These are my little babies. These ones here are supposed to be sunflowers. And then I've also got like some rainbow roses, I think in this one. And I'm not sure what I put in the rest. I used like so many different seeds. So yes, you're waiting for them to grow. Yeah, I'll keep you updated. I'm keen for the sunflowers. Good morning, everyone. Today is Tuesday and doesn't this look like a lovely background? Look how nice and neat and tidy it is. I apologize for that but um, it is like 9 a.m. and I am just doing some uni work. That's what I've been doing all morning. I thought I had to go into uni today, but turns out my class isn't even on and I didn't even know. So we're not going to uni today, which is good. I have a lot of uni work to get done, so that's what I'm trying to do, but I'm still quite sick. This is sick gal talking to you. She's in an upbeat mood because her princess Polly package is coming today, which means her outfit for beer and cider is gonna be here. I'm so excited. I bought a top like, two weeks ago for beer and cider which is this friday i bought a different outfit from princess polly and it's coming today and i'm so excited today pretty much is just uni work getting a few things done around the house and like my room and stuff and i also have work all afternoon and night so that's my tuesday fun times and i'm still recovering from being sick so everything's a little bit harder than it normally is but it's fun it's fun but i'm gonna get back to doing some uni work i just wanted to say hello and i'll talk to you guys when i get my princess polly package i get so excited for packages it's a bit ridiculous <laughs> all right so i just got my package from princess polly and i'm gonna show you guys what i got because this is for beer and cider which is on Friday. So this is it. This is the top. Um, it's just from the Princess Polly brand, but I absolutely love it. And it's like kind of mesh um, material, but it just looks really cool. I love the red stripe detailing down the sides. And then I just got these like lime green glasses. Red probably would have tied in the whole theme a bit better, but whatever. I like it and I love how it looks. I just tried it on and I'm so excited. But yeah, I'm gonna be vlogging um, Beer and Cider, so that'll be in another vlog and you'll get to see what it all looks like together and what my outfit and makeup and all that stuff, um, how that all goes because I think it's gonna look so much better when everything's done, like my face and stuff. But anyway, that's for another vlog. I'm about to go downstairs and make myself some food. Also, my outfit today is absolutely Stunning. Look at that. We've got socks and slides, my like high school senior pants, and a baggy sweater. Like, I am looking my best. Okay, yeah, ignore this stupid thing. That's really annoying. But we're gonna cook now. Pan on the stove. I'm adding in some coconut oil because coconut oil is important. It's important to grease that shit. Hold that. So then I just grease the entire pan. I like using coconut oil because it acts as a healthy fat as well, so it keeps you fuller for longer. I got my chickpeas, that's my protein. Am I focused? Okay. Please ignore my appearance. Every time I look at myself in a viewfinder, I'm shocked. Then I've got some of my other veggies just chopped up in a bowl. Chopped up. <laughs> chopped up. Cut up. Um, I was gonna say chuck them in a bowl, but then I was also gonna say cut them anyway. I've got cabbage um, because that tastes really good with the noodles and then some mushrooms because I like mushrooms. And then I've got my noodles. I just get the macro organic Singapore noodles from Woolies. I've also got some coconut milk because you need that for a curry and the curry I'm using is red curry paste. Yeah, so I'm going to put this in first because that's what the direction said to do. Oh, and I have broccoli. I love broccoli. I don't even know if that was too much, but we're going to leave it at that. And then I think I've got to put in this whole pan. I'm not sure how the paste dissolves. Oh, I'm spilling it everywhere. Cooking is one of those things that I really do miss in like exam period because I don't normally 
have the most amount of time to yeah cook up really nice meals and that's something that I'm so excited for next week when I'm on mid semester break is that I can cook meals like proper big good meals that I just enjoy cooking I love being in the kitchen I love creating new recipes so yeah that's gonna be so exciting recipe tell me this is what you do so <laughs> This is what we do. Then I'm gonna add in my vegetables. So we've got the cabbage and mushrooms. Got our broccoli, how good's some broccoli. I actually love broccoli like a lot. Like I love the smell of steamed broccoli. And then I'm gonna chuck in my chickpeas as well. And then I'm just gonna mix that in with the sauce probably a good time to add in my noodles as well so I'm just gonna turn it down a little lower and pop the lid on so that they can um, steam a little bit and while that's happening I'm gonna get the noodles sorted and I'll meet you back later this wasn't even supposed to be a cooking segment I don't know what it was supposed to be look I'm not really sure if this all goes together like this is a cross between veggie noodle stir fry what is on my hand oh it's coconut oil we're all good it's a cross between red Thai curry and noodles but hopefully it tastes good it smells pretty good i'm nervous though 